talking that same crap to Gene Deal. I ain't seen you jump up in Gene Deal's face yet. You ain't sending no subliminals to Gene Deal. You ain't tell Gene Deal shut up. Yeah, you got picks. Stop, man. Stop. Stop. No, no, nobody's messing with you. Nobody calls you to jump on their song anymore. Nobody calls you to remix their song anymore. Nobody calls you to dance in their video anymore. How many people you got on that label right now? How many people on Bad Boy right now? Outside French Montana, who I think French Montana is reality is signed to Interscope. Who is on Bad Boy Entertainment right now? And then he sits on a beach with a drink in his hand. Talking about this is middle health, health for Laurel this month on this Friday. Homie, you an alcoholic. You had your morning vodka. Fucking Friday. Here's, a, here's to the first international global fucking Friday. Let's go. Brad, I almost want to take down my lava of dead earlier, but I'm not. Because the pure simple fact, I'm going to say like this. Fred said everything he had to say right here in this video. Y'all about to see. So I'm going to let that roll in a second. It, it, it's just crazy to me. You pop, as far as the subliminals, throwing all that or whatever, as you guys going to see right here. Dude, like you, you older than all of us, and you talking this 1990 stuff, talking about yo, you gotta get up and hustle. You throwing up things about money making, bitch, and all that shit. I wouldn't even allow with that that shit was going on, and I don't care. A real niggas is trying to feed their fucking family. Trying to get, yeah, and I'm still hungry, motherfucker. So imagine how hungry you should be. I'm, if I'm starving, hungry as a hostage. Imagine how hungry you should be. We got the same 24 hours. Get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah, and one more thing. You sitting up there shooting subliminal shots telling Freddie P to stop being and all this stuff, right? Now, what besides the alcohol that you purchased not damn near 10 years ago now, besides that, are you making money off of the old catalog of the music? Some of the old catalog, because we all know BMG got some of it, right? And, 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 and Clive, right? You don't let people know about that, right? Yeah, yeah, think I didn't know, right? I'm just saying, listen, man. Leave Fred alone. Stop this bull crap about, yo, just put some CDs in it. You sound like a dude that's saying, yo, just put some CDs in the trunk and drive up to the hood. They go buy them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> stop, man. Stop. Stop. How come you ain't talking that same crap to Gene Deal? I ain't seen you jump up in Gene Deal's face yet. You ain't sending no subliminals to Gene Deal. If, if you sit back and you, and you wait for it to come to you, ain't nothing gonna come to you. It ain't nothing gonna come to you. All you can do is pick up the phone and call everything. Every time I pick up the phone, I'm getting something done. Anytime in life, and you really pick up the phone, you gotta get something. You can't let them off the hook, man. Your tongue gotta be quicker. Your mind gotta be quicker. Your motivation gotta be motivating. The whole shit, man. You gotta make people believe they can fucking fly. Hey, brother, look, let me tell you like this, man. Hey, I ain't one of them niggas, man. You hear me? I want everybody to understand this right now. My video the other day ain't had nothing to do with no pain, no clout, man. I don't even care for this music shit like that. I make music just, when I'm, when I'm tired of listening to my own music, I make more. I've never been a nigga who tried to print no CD. I've never been a nigga who did none of that. I've never personally did none of even before the band. I never went and stood on no fucking, uh, nigga paid me to stay out the streets, man. Since I was 16 years old, paid me $500 a week. When y'all seen me with Kevin over there in the flea market, I was getting paid for that, man. Because I was in the street selling dope and robbing niggas. Don't ever get it twisted, bro. Me. Me sent making that video, bro, was saying I been through I been through pain, bro, since the show. It ain't got nothing to do with it. ain't saying I'm broke. I ain't broke. I ain't I can't claim that. I can't claim to be broke. But I ain't got a dollar from you. I ain't got a dollar from you. You hear me? That's all I'm saying. You made hundred million off a of nigga, you hear me? And if I'm saying anything wrong, man, people, y'all tell me, man, because I ain't, I don't, don't make this about bashing diddy. It's not about bashing diddy. And I don't have no problem with no Ross and Kelly. I'm proud of them boys. All I'm saying is when all I said about Ross and Kelly was they could have dropped the ladder back down. Same thing with young bird. I stayed with Young Bird three years. I used to put this nigga chain on my neck to walk out the club because niggas was going to rob him. He know this, man. I, I, I checked on this nigga when nigga tried to... I, every time something happened, this nigga, I check on Bird. So I check on... Um, one day, I say, drop a ladder. That's the only message he ever left on scene. I'm like, damn, bro, you stayed in the house with a nigga. You know a nigga talent. You done told me. Nigga told me out his own mouth, bro, you know the difference between me and you? Bro, it's when this music shit don't work for me, I got to do it. When it don't work for you, you run back to the streets. I can't run back to the streets. I got to do it. These you know what I'm saying? These people I don't stand by, put your chain on my neck and walk out the club. Bro, you used to put your chain on me in the club to make sure a nigga ain't take that. See, I be speaking facts and it sound like anger because these niggas be upset me, bro. All that hustle hard. Hustle hard for what? Tell that to a nigga who want to be a musician, man. That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all ain't meet no nigga like me, man. And, and, and it's crazy. You like, hustle harder for what? I don't want to be down with you niggas. I done seen what it was. All I said was go back and make it right. You can't do nothing for me, bro. I don't want nothing from that man, bro. That man can say, give me, I'll give you $2 million. My mama sold. Everybody know me. That man can say, I'll give you $2 million right now to come sit with me. I don't want to, bro. You had 20 years, bro. All I ask is that you go make it right with my, my group members, with Danny Kane, with Day 26. Go, go help those people, bro. Because like, like Young Bird said, when some people can't make it in the studio, they can't return to the streets. I can, dog. 
don't make this about no Ricky Ross. All I said about Ross, I'm going to tell you Ross straight up, bro. And this ain't got nothing to do with you. Before you got signed, bro, I knew Miami, I knew Def Jam was coming this way. I knew Jay-Z was going to be, I knew this shit before it happened. Everybody in Bad Boy office was telling me Miami, uh, that Def Jam was going to be looking for Miami artists next because of those that I opened, bro. This ain't stuff that I made up, bro. This is stuff people told me. I've never capped in my life. Listen, I'm telling this man, this man, I stunned, listen, man. I wake up, I wake up at night, bro. Sometimes, I just keep reliving shit. And a lot of shit I did over the last, I'm over 13. Y'all don't know me, bro. When you get old, you get closer to God, bro. That shit hurt, man. That's all I'm saying. The stuff that I did, now that I'm living for God, bro. Like, truly living for God, because I've been pressed up since on my knee. But now that I really understand life, bro, I would never hurt another man no more, bro. Unless he, he got to really be threatening my kids, bro. I don't never want y'all to get this twisted and think it's about money or clout chasing. I don't, my people keep telling me, oh, you better capitalize on. Capitalize on what? I don't want to do this shit. They're going to to go buy a house in South Carolina. I don't want to do this shit. I don't want to be no musician. That's why I finally made that, 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 that declaration. That's why I put it out there. Because I'm through. I don't have to kiss y'all ass no more. My own group members can't even speak up because they got to still do music. I don't have to do music. I don't have to do music. I'm cool with the bird, man. I'm cool with the niggas who slang pounds, bro. I, I ain't got no felonies, bro. I can go right now and get me a fucking uh, $2,500 a week, bro. That's what I'm about to go do. Huh? So I don't want nobody to get my message, mister. I see the little subliminal. Bro, don't do that, bro. Because this ain't no beef thing. I don't hate you. I'm upset with you. Because, like, we just, just got to go through the history. Let's go. Loon, g Del, uh, Black Rob, uh, uh. Danny D. Kane, five of those or four of those. I don't even got no disrespect to them because I never really watched the show. But I know RB and uh, Don and um, I don't know them, but you know I know them because you know clips and shit. So ain't no disrespect, bro. Day 26. Why nobody ever signed again, bro? Nobody. You know, I'm just saying if, if 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 it's just me tripping and oh you just mad. If I'm just mad, bro, let's go to the facts. Let's look at the history. There's nobody ever been a millionaire. Nobody never got a second deal out of this man. And these people got talent, bro. Okay, I said what I said, bro. This ain't no beef. I don't got no beef. I got beef with the nigga. I'm hunting, man. I ain't got no beef with y'all, man. They mad with that truth, dog. One thing about the truth, dog. That shit hurt, bro. That shit hurt. Niggas like hustle hard and dark crime, bitch and moan. When I when them tears drop, every time a tear dropped on that video was for me doing something to somebody, bro. I'm a sucker for everything I ever did to him. Every time I was stood over a nigga, every time I ran a nigga down, I'm a sucker for that, bro. Cause I live for God, bro. And he, I had only man thing I blamed you about was I had an opportunity not to go that route. You could have helped me not go that route. So when I wake up in sweats and tears and I wake up in my pain, bro, I feel like it's your fault because you could have saved me from that route. That's it. It ain't got you don't owe me nothing. I get offended, y'all. I think I see your kids spending money on shit. Y'all get offended, my nigga, because my kid ain't got that. You made a hundred million off a nigga, dog. How I'm supposed to feel. But I guess what? My, my J had J Yeezys, all the freshest shoes, ain't never go to school. Bummy always on top of his class. He always been that nigga. He might not be Justin and all them niggas clouded up through you and all that, but he always been that nigga, playboy. We real gangsters, man. We don't do all that shit, bro. Like, man, come on, man. Don't make this about that. This ain't about none of that. This ain't about no nigga. Khaled. No, I love you, nigga. I, I love them niggas. I'm happy for them. I just wish they would have returned it. All y'all had to do, y'all ain't got to give me nothing. I said, my nigga ain't drop a ladder. That ain't in their character. So I know another, another nigga had to do something with that. They know me, man. Jeez, all the real gangsters, man. They know me, bro. I was in the paint with them. I was in LA when she said you wasn't safe. I was in the car with that. Yeah, the same day Young Buck did that, that was me, bro. That shit was right down the red and white. We had to eye on him. We was to take him next to him, bro. Saw the shit you don't even understand. This ain't about no crying anymore. I don't want to rap. Right now, I'm giving old songs on my YouTube. I don't want to rap, bro. My friend's trying to push that. I don't understand social media like y'all think I do. I don't even got a Spotify. I never had an Apple. I don't, I don't even know how to set them accounts up, man. I'm not like that, bro. Don't try me. Don't disrespect me, bro, like that, bro. Because, you know what I'm saying? Listen, the truth going to hurt, bro, and I got a lot of it, bro. A real niggas is trying to feed their fucking family. Try to get it. Yeah, and I'm still hungry, motherfucker. So imagine how hungry you should be. I'm, if I'm starving, hungry as a hostage. Imagine how hungry you should be. We got the same 24 hours. Get the fuck out of here, man.